Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good Thursday morning. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brennan Libby. We have uh, an interesting weekend ahead of us. It's going to be pretty rainy, fairly cool for Memorial Day weekend, but we do have a quiet and warm day to enjoy today. Cloud cover has been working its way out. We're going to have plenty of sunshine and highs climbing up to near 80 with more of a south wind for today. But clouds are increasing for tonight and we are expecting a line of storms to work its way through from west to east late tonight. This is probably going to come after 3 a.m. or so. But some of the data has indicated that that line could be bowing out a little bit, indicating some strong winds, maybe some isolated wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Now, the thing is, with the severe weather on Tuesday, some buildings and trees might already be weakened, uh, weakened or damaged from those significant wind gusts. So it might not even take 60 mile per hour gusts to cause more damage along the way. Plus, there's still some debris out there maybe more objects to blow around. So we'll keep a close eye on this here for tonight and into tomorrow. Certainly some heavy, heavy rainfall coming with these uh, storms as well. But again, we see them about 3, 4 a.m. in our western counties, moving quickly to the east by about 7 or 8 a.m. Uh, obviously maintaining strength along the way. So we're going to, again, watch out for the potential for some severe thunderstorm wind gusts. Now that's kind of round one. We're actually going to have a cold front coming through. And round two will depend on the timing of the first round and the timing of the cold front. It does look like maybe a, a break where you see partly sunny skies and then some redevelopment starts to occur right through the middle of our viewing area around the midday hours. Then heading through the afternoon, it's going to be pushed more so to the east, growing in strength and coverage. And probably by about the mid-afternoon, especially along the Mississippi River, some storms could be strong yet again with a chance for some uh, hail and some gusty winds again could be up to 60 miles per hour in some isolated spots, but I think the best severe potential will be out to our east more towards the Quad Cities and Illinois where there's more storm energy for those storms to work with. Once the cold front comes through, we become dry for Friday night and Saturday will be a really nice day as well. But here's the severe risk for today. Storms originate out here in Nebraska. That's the highest severe risk. Then they grow into a line that will move from west to east, and they should gradually weaken as they do that. We're trying to split the gap here with the, the first round coming through the overnight hours. So hopefully they weaken enough where we can avoid the severe weather, but there's still that low end chance, especially as they move in initially with wind gusts being the primary threat there. And then, of course, with the second round and the cold front coming through, best chance for severe weather just out to our east where there's going to be more instability. But we can't rule out, again, some strong storms with a level 1 out of 5 and the potential for gusty winds and a little bit of hail as well. So stay weather aware here for tonight and tomorrow. And unfortunately, we have more rain on the way. It's about a half inch to an inch of rain expected through tonight and tomorrow. Not great with the flooding situation that we have out there. Now, lows for... Uh, Friday night, Saturday morning dropped down to the mid 40s. So if you're thinking about camping this weekend or really doing anything outside, not looking great, to be honest. Of course, we're dealing with the flooding, so that's going to affect campgrounds. Cold temperatures on Saturday morning, but throughout the day, not looking bad. But then Sunday and Monday, chances for rain keep going up and the cloud cover will be there as well. It's going to keep our high temperatures in the 60s for both days. Today, though, that's not the case. We're going to be more so close to 80. Sunset today at 8.32 p.m. should have almost a full day of sunshine. But then tonight, late, the storms will return. So we'll keep a close eye on those as we uh, will you know, always do here at KWWL. But uh, make sure you plug your weather radio in just in case uh, there is some kind of warning that's issued overnight. Going to look at low temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. And then tomorrow, more so about the low to mid 70s, depending on the timing of the cold front as it swings through. By Saturday, again, looking nice and partly cloudy. And then, of course, the rain and cooler temperatures Sunday and Monday. After that, we're warming up throughout next week. Looks a little bit drier. Should be back to near the 80s there by Friday.